morning, my name is Steve Rennie. I am the Wren Baron, and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. Uh, we're in the cockpit of my uh, little Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra. Today, we're going to be flying from Santa Monica Airport, Kilo Sierra Mike Oscar, up the uh, Pacific Coast here, up to Lompoc, which is K. LPC. Um, we're going to be flying the IFR route today. Uh, just doing it to stay sharp, um, keep the skills up. Let's get started here. I know some of the folks like to see the whole process here from start to finish, so I'm going to try to take you through all that today and give you a little idea of what I'm doing here in the cockpit. Okay, first things first, I've already set my flight plan, which hopefully you can see here on my iPad. I'm going to use a one of those tech routes. We're going to go into Ventura, then San Marcos, then Victor 12, Gaviota, and then Lompoc. I've set my altitude for 8,000 feet today. Where what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and push this up to flights. I also have here my flight sheets, okay, and my takeoff briefings here, which I've already filled out a little bit of that stuff already. All right, so let's go here and first fill out the stuff that we know here. We're going to be cruising at 8,000 feet as you can see here. There's one person in here, 190 pounds, that's me. Our starting fuel I believe is going to be 58 gallons is what I saw. I'll change that if necessary. The reason I'm filling all of this in is because it's going to give me some important information that I'll use in my take takeoff briefing and otherwise. So all of that's set. Now you'll see down here there's a little blue button. It's called proceed to file. So I'm going to proceed to file. This is filing my flight plan with ATC. One person on board. Uh, we're gonna be teeing off, take, teeing off, take, taking off at 8.40. Our time and route is 39 minutes. We've got three hours and 26 uh, minutes of fuel on board, so we should be fine there. Let's go as our alternate airport. Let's put KSBA, just, it's the one just short of it, just in case. Are you ready to file this flight plan, friends? 768 Foxtrot Sierra? Yes, I am, file. And now my flight plan is filed, and shortly, I'll be getting a, an email or a text message on my iPad and also, and there it is, you can see it right there, KSMO expected route received. That means I'm going to get likely the route that I asked for. Um, it says here, do you want to update your route? Yes, we're going to update that route. Now that we have all that information, I'm going to go back up to the top of the sheet. And now I'm going to get some information for our takeoff briefing. And we're going to run, go out on runway 21, no doubt, even though the wind might be slightly more favorable. The usable length is uh, 3,500 feet, so we're going to go runway 21, 3,500 is our runway length. Based on the weather, which I'll confirm on the radio, but right now it's four knots from 40 degrees, 53, altimeter is 3025. Based on all of that information, the weights and balances that I put in there, um, our total distance to take off today is 946 feet, and that's actually to get us 50 feet over the ground. Um, our actual roll is going to be about 600 today. We're going to be cruising at 8,000 feet, I'm putting all that down here on my sheet. Hopefully you can see that. 8,000, our estimated time en route was going to be 39 minutes. Our direction of departure is going to be runway heading out of the box. Let's go ahead and put in that weather information that they already had given me here. So wind direction is 40. Four knots, not a big issue there. Altimeter is going to be 303025. Sky condition is clear. I don't need a weatherman to know what that's all about. And our temperature is 53 degrees here. Okay, so that's our takeoff briefing. We'll come back to that in a minute. You'll also notice over here, I'm going to go back up top again. Um, right here in the departure information here, uh, we've got our our frequencies, which I've already loaded in here as you can see. I've also taken the frequencies from our destination, which I'll go to the info button. I'll go over here to info on the screen. You'll see that our ATIS is 133.875. Our clearance up to Santa Barbara or, or approach is 12415. It's a CTAF there, 122.7. It's uh, Lompoc. You'll see that the runways are runway 7 and 25. Uh, it's right traffic to 25, left traffic 07. The runway is 4,600 feet long by 100 feet wide. The elevation there, Lompoc is 88 feet. Our pattern altitude is 901. Our elevation here at Santa Monica is 170, which I've noted, again, if you can see it up here on my takeoff briefing. For the purposes, if you have a Cirrus, this is important to you. If not, uh, you can skip through this. Uh, CAPS available altitude is 600 feet above ground on a Cirrus Gen 6. That means 770 is our magic number for when that caps becomes available. 2000 is the best altitude. 
uh, for your caps deployment. Why? Because it, you're close enough to the ground to see what you're doing and not so far away is that you'll stay in the air and be blown way off course here. So flight plan is filed. So now we're ready to start this baby up. Battery two, battery one, got the green light. Okay, let's get our strobe lights on. Mixture full. Pull it back to one quarter inch. Go to boost. Okay, so we got our flight plan, which we've sent over to our uh, MFD. That's looking good, so I'm going to activate that. That was approved a few minutes ago. Let's pull our power back. Go to our checklist now. Pre-flight was done, all of that. We're all started up now. Avionic power switches are on. Internal power is good. Amp meters are good. It's okay before tacking. Flaps are up now. That's correct. Radio and avionics. Let's go and get our 11915 in here. Get our ATIS. Santa Monica Airport. Information at uniform 1651 Zulu observation. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear below 12,000. Temperature 172.1. Altimeter 3025. Your Alpha RNAV and visual approach is in use runway 21. Hazardous weather information for the Southern California Air is on flight status frequencies. Positive contact, you have information in the uniform. Let's go up top, 120.1. Let's get that in there. Okay, we flip that over, and I think we'll probably get 125.2 as our departure frequency, but that's all good. So our radio and avionics are set as required. Cabin heat defrost, not necessary. Fuel selector is on the fullest tank, which is the right tank. That's a check. Okay, now let's call up ground. Santa Monica Ground, Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra, Northwest Parking with the Uniform. I'd like to taxi to the Alpha 5 run up and also pick up my IFR flight plan to Lompoc. Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra, Santa Monica Ground, taxi Alpha 5, run up the Alpha. Alpha 5 to, uh, yeah, Alpha 8 Foxtrot Sierra, thank you. Okay, so now we're taxiing. Parking brake is gone. Brakes, let's see, we got brakes, those are all good. HSI orientation, let's get around the line. HSI orientation is good. Turn coordinator, let's check the turn coordinator. That's all working fine. Four takeoff doors are latched and closed. Check. Caps handle is right here. Check. Seat belt and shoulder harnesses are secure. Let's pull it back just a little bit. Air conditioner not required. Fuel quantity we've confirmed now. The tank is back the other way left. Okay. Fuel selectors on the fullest tank. We're in boost. Mixture is full rich. Flaps are 50 on the right, 50 left. We're all good there. Autopilot will check that up in the run up area here. See it right there, the Alpha 5 run up area. Get set. First things first, I'm going to pull the brake, set that baby right there. Okay, now let's go through our checks here. Autopilot, that thing should start moving, and you can see it is moving. Kick off autopilot, that's good. Navigation radios are set, let's those change. Cabin heat defrost not required, brakes are holding. Let's go 1700, check our engine page. Go to 1700 RPMs. Give it here more. Ah, it's close enough there, 1700. So now we're going to go nav. Strobe. Landing lights. Pushes it up a hair more. Ice should push it up a hair more. Pedo heat. Picks that one up significantly. Okay, so let's get rid of pedo heat. Let's get rid of ice. Get rid of landing lights and nav. Check our mags here. We go to our left mag. 1690 to 1630. That's a 60 drop. That's acceptable. Go to our right mag. It's a drop of 50. That's acceptable. Pull it back to 1000 now. Okay, done. Back to our checklist. Power lever is good. You know, heat and all that stuff is looking good. Landing lights, enunciator lights, voltage uh, checking, it's charging. You don't need as required, we don't need it right now. Navigation lights, landing light, magnetos, we're all good. Parameters, let's see, we got green. Green, everything is right now. 
Uh, power lead is at 1,000. Flight instruments check and set. Let's go. We'll get our altitude and all that stuff here. But let's go put our go go button in there. Flight controls left is up, right is down, right is up, left is down. That's good. Okay, it's all working properly. That's good. Nice and free. Trim. Let's set our trim for takeoff. Trim. Trim is set. No feed icing conditions out of the box here. So let's go to our checklist, which will be our full power climb bridge and peak technique. Okay, and I think we're ready to go. Santa Monica Ground Zero Seven Six Eight Fox Shots here. I run a complete ready to copy that uh, clearance for uh, Lompoc. Zero Seven Six Eight Fox Shots here. Clear to Lompoc Airport via on departure fly runway heading leaving one thousand feet. Turn right heading two five zero. Radar vector is Ventura as filed. Maintain 3,000. Expect 8,000 five minutes after departure. SoCal departure frequency 124.3. Squawk 4665. All right, let me read that back to you. We're cleared to Lompoc. On departure, we're going to fly runway heading at 1,000 feet. We're going to make a right turn, 250. Then radar vectors to Ventura. Then as file, 3,000 to start, 8,005, 124.3 on the departure frequency, 4665 on the squad. There's eight five shots there. Read back is correct. Advise the tower you are IFR runway 21, taxi via Alpha. I'm going to program this and then I'll taxi over there. Thank you, five shots here. 4665, we've got set. We've got 3,000. That will know that 1,000 feet, we're going to make that turn there. We got 124.3 up top here. That is a check now. Okay, 4665 on our squawk is a check. We've got 3,000 set up top here. Departure, we're going to fly runway heading. Got our toga button set there, so we're all good there. And then let's set our heading for 250. See, while we're there. Okay. November 7, Bravo Kilo, runway 21, cleared for the option. Okay. Cleared for the option, runway 21, set Bravo Kilo. Monica Tower, Slope Reserve 801, Pop Sierra is with you at 20, uh, 2200, uh, inbound for landing. November 801, Pop to Sierra, San Monica Tower, right traffic, runway 21. Right traffic. San Monica Tower, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, holding short runway 21, awaiting IFR release. Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, San Monica Tower, Roger. Okay, so let's do our takeoff briefing. If we have an engine issue or on the runway, we're going to pull the power, hit the brakes, and abort the takeoff. If we have an engine failure after takeoff below 770 feet, uh, we're going to pitch for 92. We're going to mixture off, tanks off, ignition off, go down on the golf course there. Between 770 and 2,170 feet, we're going to pull the parachute, mixture off, tanks off, ignition off, float onto the golf course above 2,170 feet. Uh, we should uh, be able to get back to the airport. Our time and route is 39 minutes. We're going to use 13 gallons of fuel. That is our takeoff briefing. We're ready to go. Let's get some frequencies in here while we're waiting. 133, 875. Always can do something, folks, while you're waiting. Sir, eight Fox Stretch here. Turn right on runway 21. Turn right Alpha 4 and uh, hold behind the Phenom. Uh, right, right, and hold behind the Phenom. Eight Fox Stretch here. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> uh, that's how you know uh, jets get priority here. Uh, we will extend our downwind, and you'll call our base 801 Pup Sierra. All right, second class citizen in my little Sierras. Exit jet 312, runway 21, clear for takeoff, winds calm. If takeoff 21, exit jet 312. Pretty plain. Like the smell of jet fuel. Sure, St. Fox Strat Sierra, runway 21, line up and wait, traffic extending right down. Runway 21, line up and wait, 8 Fox Strat Sierra, thank you. Okay, let's take the whole runway and let's see where he's getting off the ground at. We're going to get a little wake turbulence behind him. Okay, all set. And flat mixture boost. 
1,000 feet, right hand turn to 250. Let's get him. Fox Rats here, runway 21 clear for takeoff. 21 clear for takeoff, 8 Fox Rats here, see you later. Flight support 1 Pop is here, runway 21 clear yeah, to land, wind 1003. 2 1 clear to land, 8 1 Pop is here. Power is going in. Full power's in, speed's alive. We're on the center line. Okay, flaps are up 90. 1,000 feet, we got 770 is our magic number there. Let's keep her trimmed up here. Okay, here we go. Looking for 770. Our flight level change there. Let's go one down. 600. Caps available. Santa Monica Tower, Light Sport 7, Bravo Kilo. We are uh, holding short of runway 21 at Bravo 5. Request left close traffic. Light Sport 7, Bravo Kilo, without delay. Traffic turning one mile final. Runway 21 clear for takeoff. Hey, okay, there's our heading mode. Let's go. We're going to wait. 7 Bravo Kilo. Sir, 8 Fox Rats here. Contact departure 124.3. 1243, 8 Fox Rats here. Thank you. So Cal departure, Sierra 768, Fox Sierra 1,300, climbing 3,000. Exact jet, exact jet 312, turn right direct, CM, resume on navigation. Direct that CM on navigation, exact jet 312. Sierra 768, Fox Shot Sierra, so Cal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 6,000, fly heading 270, vectors for Ventura. Fly maintain 6,000, uh, turn 2708, Fox Shot Sierra. Okay, let's go. Oxygen not required. Power levers full forward. Mixture is full. Flaps verified up. Airspeed is 120. We're looking good. Right on 270. Fuel pumps in boost. Engine parameters are good. Fuel flow is 41 gallons. That's good. Let's go to that 312. Contact autopilot. approach 124.6. Have a great We're day. Heading autopilot. We're on 270. We're uh, 6,000. We got 120 set, we're all good to go. Let's get back our messages inside airspace. We got to know that. Checklist is going to be our cruise checklist. Back to the map. Going to set us over to Ventura, so let's get that one ready to go. We are. Check our traffic in the neighborhood. Nothing right there in front of us. That's good. Number 768 Fox Shot Sierra, clear direct Ventura, resume on navigation. Clear direct uh, Ventura, just resume on nav. Eight Fox Shot Sierra, thank you. Correct. Enter, enter, nav. Okay, we're heading direct Ventura. We're in GPS autopilot. Flight level change 120. All is good. Here, 768 Foxtrot Sierra. Climb and maintain 8,000. Climb maintain 8,000. 8 Foxtrot Sierra. Thank you. Okay, they're giving us all the way to eight, that's good. Now we don't have to worry about that. Sync up our uh, iPad here. We're going uh, right Ventura now. Go back to the map here. So we got the partridge up blue, uh, 1570. Yeah, uh, blue 1570. So we've got the flight plan over here into the PFP. We've got our full map right here. So I got my glide ring. I got wind. Been behind me 12, 12 knots at 050. Approach 134.35. Good day. Visual approach in there today. 34, Let's go enter. Visual for 07. Go uh, vectors. Strength uh, 720, 1800, climb 5000. Hearing 720, so cut apart to radar contact, climb and maintain 1-2,000. 1-2, 12,000, fairway 720. Expect vectors for the approach back around to runway 25 left. Alright, 5,000 vectors back around for 25 left, exit at 7-93. Okay, there's 
Here's our bell. Here's our bell. We'll turn to a clipper. Let her speed up. Go to our check. Cruise checklist. Oxygen not required. Zero, and we'll have Cruise you back to um, due east down in just a few miles. Power lever. We're in okay, the hold right now. Okay, excellent. 050, it's a 793. And now we'll pull our power back to 30.5 manifold pressure. What we'll see there is that uh, green cyan marker will appear down here, and sure enough, there it is. We're going to pull our mixture back to the cyan marker. Give us about seven. Bearing 720, climb via the orchid departure, except maintain 15,000. Climb via the orchid departure, except maintain 15,000. Bearing 720. Mixture we've adjusted, engine parameters are good. Let's go and keep an eye on those. Okay. All right, uh, heading 070, 124.9 or 793. So takeoff time was 9.30. Right now we've got uh, so, okay, good morning, 935, 935 5, 500, climb at 5. That's 60. Dallas 3075, so how departure radar contact. I'm going to maintain 1,2,000. Got 47 oil pressure. Got oil temperature 182. We're on our... Up tank at 46. I'm going to lean that out. Bearing 720, contact Los Angeles Center 125.27. Okay. 25.27, bearing 720. So there we go. November 768, Foxtrot Sierra, contact Point Magoo approach 128.65. 128.65, Foxtrot Sierra, thank you. Sky West 3075, clear direct TV, resume the DOPS departure. Point Magoo approach, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra level 8000. Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, Magoo approach, Wall 3026. 3026 for Magoo, 8 Foxtrot Sierra, thank you. Number 2 Charlie Bravo, you are following a Skyhawk on a 8 mile final, he's at your 1 o'clock. Uh, speaking of great pilots, we have to get together with two great pilots, uh, my friend Ed Waters from Pinehurst, North Carolina, and Chuck Kelly, both uh, Sierra CSIPs. Terrific guys, terrific pilots. We're going to be getting together to put together some content for uh, some of the viewers here on the Ren Baron channel. So if you have any questions, post some of those uh, questions you have on uh, on my comments here on this video, and uh, perhaps we can get them. I know one of the things Ed wants to cover is setting up your pilot profile here on the Sirius Perspective Plus system. First got my plane, Ed set mine up for me. I'll, it'll be a good refresher for, for me as well. Ed's going to fly with me up to Las Vegas and get some good content here. We're also going to get to go play a little golf. Ed's uh, beaten me in the last couple, three times we've played. And uh, I'm tuning up for you, Ed. All right, we're closing in. Let's go back up top here, check the scoreboard. We're heading direct Ventura. we got two miles to go. We've got about uh, 29 minutes to our uh, destination, according to our MFD over here. Now, one thing I'm going to ask Ed how to do is how to turn off that TAWS warning. I know there's a little button called inhibit, but when I was flying down to Palma Valley, that thing was going off. We were very close to terrain around this little private airport. I was so busy making sure I didn't hit the mountains that I couldn't figure out how to turn it off in that moment, so we're going to get that straight. Uh, on the MFD or PFD here, you're going to notice that that uh, bug is a little bit off, so I'm going to hit the uh, heading button down here. Now it's going to put me in sync mode, which means that every time we turn, uh, it's going to reset the uh, heading bug, so that if we have to go into heading mode, we're ready to go. We don't have to hit that heading button and all of a sudden be going off in a direction we hadn't really anticipated, which I'm sure we've all done that. Right now, I'm flying over uh, Point Magoo Naval Air Station here, which is just short of Oxnard, California. Pretty quiet down there today. Okay, so our temperatures are good. Oil pressure is good. Everything's looking good right now. I'm excited today. I'm going to get a new little toy for my sim setup. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers suggested uh, after he watched me <laughs> do a horrible base turn and final turn on, on a sim flight the other night. Wait, one of the r tough things for me in that sim is actually being able to see. Delta, traffic. You can set various views, but it's not like just looking out the window. So anyway, I've got this little device called yeah, Track IR that's that going to supposedly, hopefully, just kind of let my head do the talking on the views inside the sim. Uh, hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier for me to uh, replicate what I see up here in the real plane. Okay, got a little wind in our face now. We're going about 165 knots over the ground. I'll show you that over here. It's 165, 167 true airspeed. See right here, we've got a 16 knot wind coming from 017. Mission 125, 
Scott, 2 3 Delta, radio services are terminated. Contact Camry Tower, 120.2, remain on that code. Okay, we're heading direct Ventura to uh, San Marcos now. We're 38.3.8 miles, 12 miles to go. I'm going to go now down here to my COM2. I'm going to hit it, yeah, put it into monitor mode. So as soon as we start picking up some ATIS for um, Mompoc, uh, that'll kick in. Now also, as you've heard me say a million times on Perspective Plus, is we have a little selected waypoint weather that I get from XM Weather uh, in the plane here. And it's showing 123 knots at 120. So we'll see which runway everybody's landing on up there at uh, Lompoc. Because the wind's really not much of an issue there. So maybe we'll land on runway 25. They got a plane below me here. Is it showing that on my, yes it is, right below me, 4700. Looks like a Cessna. Low, we're at 8,000, it's 47, so he's uh, 3,300 feet. Message we got coming here. Unsupported leg flight, unsupported leg type and flight plane. That's because I've loaded the uh, straight in approach visual for 07. The rate Foxtrot Sierra contact Santa Barbara approach 125.4. 1254, eight Foxtrot Sierra, thank you. 125.4. Santa Barbara approach Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra level 8000. System 68 Fox Shot Sierra, Santa Barbara Fruit, Santa Barbara 23027. 3027 for Santa Barbara, 8 Fox Shot Sierra. Sierra 8 Fox Shot Sierra, I understand you're landing at Lompoc Airport. What approach are you looking for? Uh, looking for the RNAV 25 if possible. Roger. Go load the approach, select approach. RNAV 25. Load that. I suspect Gaviota will be the initial approach fix. Hey, Fox Sierra, you can expect that. Spark San Marcus, direct to LIVAC. That's the initial approach fix for the uh, RNAV runway 25. Maintain 8000. Uh, so uh, we're clear for that approach. We're not clear, but we're going to get that approach, and LIVAC's going to be my transition. Hey, Fox Trot Sierra. Fox Trot Sierra, affirmative. I'll be San Marcus, then LIVAC. You can expect to join at LIVAC. San Marcos, then LIVAC. Hey, Fox Trot Sierra, thank you. Okay. No, we're not going to fly the course reversal. The minimum there on the uh, LNAV approach is 1,000 feet. So, 1,000 feet. Okay, so San Marcos and then uh, Liveac. Three eight zero is the one navigation on course. What navigation? No course. Three eight zero. We got some traffic. Five hundred feet above. Go to our map here. Traffic window here. Let's go flight ID. One hundred twenty-three knots. There he is behind me off to my right here. Back to the map. All right, there's a uh, beautiful Santa Barbara below us. NTR 6 November Delta, you're cleared to Mesa Gateway Airport via the mission free departure. Yeah. Lompoc Airport, automated weather observation. One, seven, five, three, Zulu. Wind, one, two, zero, at zero, four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, one, one. Celsius. Dew point zero six Celsius altimeter three zero three one. Okay, so we got that. So let's go down here and switch one two two seven, which is the C tap. Let's just monitor that. Top of descent's going to be in fourteen minutes and thirty two seconds. Switch the fuel tank. We just did. We're all good there. Get our descent checklist ready to go here. Okay, temps are all good. So 
Just a three eight two, traffic no factors. Activate the approach up there. Oh, okay, approach on Anthony Sagan. One minute, three seconds. Five left at Santa Barbara. Uh, 1,300 climbing, 1,500. November 5, ZT2, Okay, let's go. Ahead and activate that approach. Vertical track. November 8, Fox Trust here. After San Marcos, clear direct live act. Heading direct live act, 8 Fox Trust here, thank you. Go back to our flight plan. Okay, we're going to set our altitude to 3,300 for right now. Approach 124.15 today. 124.15, got you. Okay, there's our departure. Santa Barbara approach Sierra 768, Fox Rod Sierra 8,000. Never return 6 8 Fox Charts here at Santa Barbara Approach. Advise me a one minute weather at uh, Lompoc. Got the one minute weather, 8 Fox Charts here. Better. Santa Barbara Approach, 0 7 6 8 Fox Charts here at 8000. Are you going to get me lower here in a second? 6 7 6 8 Fox Charts here, I'll just maintain 6000. Just maintain 6000, thank you, 8 Fox Charts here. Three three Charlie's office in our departure right now. Yeah, let's pull the power a little bit back to sixty percent. A little chop on the way. Three three Charlie's operator contact three miles south of the San Luis Airport out in the trees here. Hey, there's our little green banana. We're going to be at six thousand ish uh, as we get to Kiza, to Santa Ynez Airport. Number eight, Fox Shots here. How does the press terminate? Uh, I'm going to uh, pull stop at uh, Lompoc, eight Fox Shots here. Okay, no traffic in front of us here. Okay, let's pull a little bit more power here. Get her slowed down a bit. 50%, 45. Watching those temps are coming down. Right over Santa Inez. There are eight Foxes here to 718 5000. 718 5000, eight Fox shots here, thank you. To 5000, okay, he's going to keep bringing us down. Okay, we're looking for traffic in the neighborhood up there. We've got one plane in the neighborhood there, so not a lot of traffic. Another one over, uh, there we are, 4200 below us, okay. November 8, Fox Shots here, cross fly back at our bus 3500, clear GPS runway 25, approach in 2. Lompoc. Cross live back at or above 3,500, or clear for the RNF 25, uh, Lompoc 85 goes here. Okay, let's go to 3,500, 3,500, enter, enter, okay, and we are cleared for the approach. Set that, go so VNAV direct to uh, live back. Direct. Zero three, thank you, Roger. Activate and let's go VNAP. Seven seconds, we should start coming on down. V-path is engaged. We're going to 3,500. Go to our descent checklist. We got 3031 at uh, A. Oxygen is set, altimeter is set, cavity and frost is good. Our landing light is on. Fuel system, we've checked. We're on the this tank here, power lead is required, mixture is good, brake pressure, we've got brakes, got brakes. Go all the way down to 3,500 here, Steve. Gotta go back to our flight plan. VNAV direct. Activate. Gotta set that. Okay, let's put up the trees there, Down to 2,700. Okay, PV path is kicking in again. We're good. Pull our power back. To November 0 3 Yankee advised me on the one minute weather at Let's go to 4 section at Oceano. Yeah, we're looking good. November 0 3 Yankee advised me on the one minute weather.
Mountain, number 8 Fox Rats here, advising you have the one minute weather at Lompoc. I got the one minute weather, 8 Fox Rats here. Get some flaps in there. Number eight, Fox Shot Sierra. Our services are trimming remainder code. Frequency changes approved. Report cancellation of IFR this frequency. Let's, let's cancel IFR right now and I'll switch to the CTAP. Eight Fox Shot Sierra. Eight Fox Shot Sierra. IFR cancellation is received. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Lompoc traffic, Sierra 768, Fox Shot Sierra, heading uh, for straight in for runway 25. Lompoc traffic. They got the runway in sight, go full mixture. G-Path is engaged. And Lompoc traffic, uh, Champ 455 is over the mountains, just uh, about three miles east. Inbound for landing, 25, we entering on a right downwind, 25, Lompoc. Lompoc traffic, Silver Cirrus at uh, 2,800 straight in, uh, about five miles straight in for runway 25. Okay, we got the glide path, pull it back to 40% here now. Lompoc traffic, Silver Cirrus on five mile final for Lompoc traffic, Silver Series, four mile final for two five Lompoc traffic. Okay, final approach checklist here. We're landing, we got that, all that is good. Our mixture is full. Back to the map. Lompoc traffic, Silver Series, a two and a half mile final for two five. Lompoc traffic. Minimums, minimums. Okay, continuing approach. Yeah. Let's get that last flaps in there. Good speed. Went just a little bit off the left, right on the money here so far. Get our power in there. And long post traffic champ 455 is entering right now in for Roman 25 long post. Okay, flaps are up. Lompoc traffic, Silver Sears, clear active runway, taxiing back to 25. Lompoc traffic. And Lompoc traffic, Jam 455, turn right base. 
Alright, that was nice. Turn around and head back. No. Oh.